All right, guys, let's install Ghost on a server. So we've got a Rackspace server set up, and they have a Rackspace deployment, but, you know, that costs your own money. Let's assume you already have a server, don't want to spend it anymore. So I, I just converted squarebracket.com from an Apache MySQL box over to an Nginx MySQL box, right? Still using MySQL and PHP, et cetera. But now it's using Nginx, which I needed because to do Ghost, you need... Um, you need Node.js, which is really easy to do with Nginx and not so easy to do with Apache, and I also don't like Apache anymore. Anyway, so let's get started. First things first, I've already downloaded their package from their website. Ghost is the blogging platform. I'm sure you know that if you uh, if you clicked on this video. Actually, if you're one of my people who don't know that, Ghost is a really cool new blogging platform. Supposedly, I'm going to try it out. We'll see. Anyway, I've downloaded the files from, I think, get a Ghost guide and like get started here. And then like Linux, and then there's a download button somewhere. Uh, let's see, ghost.org. Uh, download source code. Download now, okay? Download now, and it's gonna download it again. I already downloaded it once. So let's get started. Uh, first thing it says to do is log in, download source code. Did that. Now we need to npm install production. Now I've already done this, but uh, let's. We need to install Node.js first. So I actually already did this, but um, let's. Well, first of all, let's let's upload the files, right? So I'm gonna. I, I have a website running already. Squarebracket.com is already running. So I'm gonna run this next to that. So let's make a new folder called Ghost, and let's upload all of the files there. So that's all uploading. So we need to install Node.js. So I already have it running. So if I do Node-version, uh, I'm running the latest. Uh, so you can just do apt get install. Oops install Node.js to install it and if for some reason it doesn't install the latest version you can just follow these quick simple steps here and install these four things and then you have the latest version of Node and it's pretty much that simple now you've got Node so the next thing you need to do is once this is running awesome let's modify some of this stuff so this says config.example I'm, I'm guessing they want me to get rid of the example I'm just guessing and let's edit config Okay, so our URL is not going to be that. It's going to be square bracket dot com, and I'm I'm just going to do it off of a colon domain for now. They they want me to use this port, so let's just do that. And I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put it down here as well for production. Awesome, cool. And they're going to do SQLite. Great. Don't have to worry about testing. Okay, so that's config. So the next thing it says to do is to npm install dash dash production. Now again, I've, well actually I haven't done it because I'm just installing now. So cd slash var slash ghost, so npm install production, boom. So this is going to install all the stuff. Now while it's installing that, um, I, I want it to run behind nginx, so it's not going to just run from 2368 like this. So, for example, it, it thinks it's going to work just like that. So if I actually go uh, to square bracket, okay, that's square bracket. If I do colon 2368, nothing's going to happen. Why is nothing going to happen? Well, that's because um, Nginx is running, not not their stuff. My stuff is running. Well, actually, maybe the first case is I didn't do npm start. npm start is what they call what you need to do here, npm start. So now you can see it's running, and it tells me to go here, which I don't think is going to work because I haven't told my I haven't told my browser to process uh, any stuff. So I go here, and nothing happens, right? So what we need to do is go modify our nginx config file. So we're going to go to slash etc slash nginx oops, nginx, and we're going to edit our conf d file right here and what we're gonna do is add a new um, a new block a new server block right and this is gonna listen on a different port we're gonna listen to 8000 and we're gonna listen on 8000 and we're gonna port it over to the port that they want right so we're gonna listen on 8000 we have to have a server name section and it's gonna be called square bracket dot com uh, colon 2368 and then uh, we can have an access log just so we know what's going on at var log nginx and then we can just call it like ghost.log no big deal now we have to have a location block so we're gonna have a slash block here 
and that's just going to do our proxy. So proxy pass, and this is going to be HTTP colon double slash one two oops colon double slash one two seven dot o dot o dot one colon twenty three sixty eight. They like that number. I don't know why. Slash. Okay, so that's our server block. So we're going to take 8,000 from the browser and we're going to pipe it to 2368, which is where it's running. So let's kill that. Let's restart. Uh, let's restart. Here's all the commands I've been running. Yes, let's restart Nginx. And let's confirm that squarebracket.com is still working. And it is. So now we're going to npm start. And now we're going to go to colon, wait, what did I say, 8,000, which should proxy it over to 2368. Boom, ghost, running. Great. Um, the next thing we need to do is, what if, what if you know, what if we want, don't want 8,000? What if we want it to be a subdomain, right? Um, so you can actually go to Rackspace, and you can say add record, C name. And we're just gonna say um, we're just gonna say ghost is gonna go to uh, squarebracket.com. So we're just we're literally just adding a record so that ghost kind of works. You could add a wildcard if you want. So we're adding a C name record so that ghost goes to squarebracket.com, which is pointing to this. So what we can do now is we can actually say the server name. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have this one listen on 80 as well, but instead of squarebracket.com colon 2368, okay, we're going to say the server name is ghost.squarebracket.com. We're going to get rid of this. So this is our domain now, right? And actually, I should have made blog. I don't know why I made it ghost, but I made it ghost. And we're still going to proxy pass to the same thing. Uh, Ghost is still going to run on the same port. Nothing that's happening. What we're changing is we listen on 80, listen for the subdomain, which we made over here go to square bracket so that it works. Okay, so that's the change. So let's restart Nginx now. So restart Nginx. Okay, let's make sure square bracket.com works first. Okay, awesome. Now let's see if ghost.square bracket.com works. Bad gateway. Bad gateway. Oh, we didn't start uh, we didn't start the app, so let's start ghost. npm start. So ghost is running now and restart. And there we go. So now we've got ghost.squarebracket.com and uh, we have uh, it running. So one thing we also want to do is we don't want to have to like if we quit out of our server, this is going to break. So what we need to do is let this run forever. So I'm going to go. I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to go. I'm going to say touch. It's going to touch a file. Oh, like create it. Slash etc slash init slash ghost dot conf or dot conf. You know what? I forget what it's supposed to be. I think it's dot conf. C O N F. So we're going to create that file, and so let's go edit it. So slash etc slash init, and then we need to find, yeah, they're all conf. Let's find ghost, g, ghost, where are you at? A, B, C, D, F, G, H. Did I not make it? Slash init, etc slash init slash ghost.conf. Where are you? Why can't I find you? I can't see it. Did I not make it? Let's do it here. New file, ghost.conf. Okay, I don't know. I guess I didn't make it. All right, let's edit it. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna I'm gonna paste this in, but I'm gonna explain it. Okay, and this is the one I'm about to paste is found here on um, Connect AI's uh, Cornerstone repo uh, in this init script here. It just lets you run a Node.js app, um, kind of. Uh, by hitting start and restart, and it's going to keep it running. That's kind of the key here. It's going to keep it running. So, ghost server, start, mount all, respawn. Uh, it's going to go to slash var ghost. It's going to run npm start, and it's going to pipe every output to ghost log. That's all it's going to do. Save. And now I can go ahead and just say start ghost. Now I can just do that. Started running, and I should go be able to go right back to. Um, 
to this and it should have no problem. So there we go. So now we've got start ghost and I can do stop ghost and I can do restart, well, I can do start ghost and restart ghost and it's going to keep going and keep running. To, to set up ghost at this point, you just go to slash ghost and get your stuff set up and running. Let's actually go ahead and create my first blog post while we're at it. So Sean Clark, Sean at square bracket dot com and let's put in a password and hit sign up cool save password uh, I know it won't send email that's mailgun we'll do that later let's add a post and I will go to my medium account here I wrote a blog on medium called teacher mom had API if you want to read it go read it I would appreciate it um, let's paste that in here and I'm gonna see if I like this uh, this editor better right now mediums I mean mediums editor is pretty badass like here's the editor it's pretty freaking beautiful so I'm hoping I'm hoping that this one for uh, ghost is gonna be pretty cool um, so here we go you know let's let's do something like mom nope mom exactly that would take forever you know do some do some things. Okay, I'm just kind of really not doing much here. Okay, anyway, blog post. Post title, Teach Your Mom How to API. Cool, and that's my thing, and we're going to save a draft. Awesome. How do I post? Publish now. Cool. So, content. Teach Your Mom Head API. Welcome to Ghost. What's this button do? Oh, I didn't have to update my config with my new stuff. So remember now, it's ghost.squarebracket.com, which I should change the blog. I don't know why I didn't, but whatever. Okay, save. And I need to restart ghost. Now here's cool. Watch this. Restart ghost. Boom. Easy done. And let's go back. Okay, and let's click this button now. Ugh. There we go. Cool. Ghost, just a blogging platform. Welcome to Ghost. Uh, where is my content, Ghost? Uh, draft. This is not a draft. This is published, right? Pub date. No, I thought I published you. Okay, well, let's try that again. Publish now. Publish now. There we go. All right, now we're published. Teacher Mom had API. Awesome. So how do we update this? How do we edit that main thing? Let's see, content, settings, general, blog image. Here we go. Let's go pick out a nice cool image. Let's go to my 500 pixels account and find a nice cool image here. I love this image, these mountaineering boots. Totally, totally steal my own image here. All right. There we go. Take that image. Open a new tab. Cool. Save image as 2048 to my desktop. Cool. And let's go to Ghost. And let's drag it there. Awesome. Save. Blog description. The day in the life of a web developer. Blog title. Oh, that's, that's what my title is. Um, the daily ramblings, the daily slash not so daily ramblings of a web developer. Cool. Blog cover. Well, what's that? Oh, that's the logo. Crap. Ugh. Okay. I did the wrong thing. Let's save that. I gotta get Square Brackets logo. I'm gonna steal off the web because I don't have it anywhere else right now. Uh, save image as. SQB logo. Cool. Oops, that's medium. Alright, let's change this. Let's change this. Ugh, no, it worked the first time, but not the second time. Shoot. Alright, how do we edit this? Trash. Square bracket. Not the most intuitive, but save. Cool. No, I got rid of my thing. Ugh. Oh, why did you do that? Alright. A day in the life of a web developer. The daily slash not so daily ramblings of a web developer. All right? Cool. Developer. 
That's right, post for page six. Casper is the only theme I have. Save. And blog home. Boom. Oh, that looks terrible. I need a new picture. <laughs> I wonder if I can edit the CSS. Anyway, I'm done rambling with this video. That's how you set up Ghost. Look forward to this working at some point. Thanks, guys.